and welcome back to my channel if you are new hello hi how are you doing and welcome uh, if you want to hit that subscribe button real quick as well as that bell button uh, I got a whole lot of videos that I'm excited to show you and uh, if you want to get notified when I put out videos you definitely want to hit that that bell button so you can be notified for uh, when I put out new content which is each and every week so so I am thinking y'all about doing something like a um, wig review or hair review Wednesdays or something like that uh, because I realized that a lot of you really do like a lot of my hair stuff too and I'm thinking also about reorganizing my channel and doing like makeup and mental health Mondays um, as well as wig Wednesdays or something like that or wellness Wednesdays um, and then thrifty Thursdays where I do a DIY or something like that so like let me know in the comments down below if you have any suggestions as to how I can go about like organizing I know I have a lot of different viewers who um, come to my channel for different things so that Maybe it makes it easier for the specific tutorial that is of interest. Um, you know what day it comes out and whatnot. So I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure. So let me know if you think that's a good idea. So anyway, so for this episode, I am collaborating with the Cosmo Biz magazine to review uh, the Janet Collection Aria 100% Virgin Human Hair. So this will be kind of a two part thing where I do a review right now and then I will show you all later what I come up with. So I have these two packs here and I'm not quite sure um, if I can make a wig out of both of them. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is like a ponytail um, and then maybe make a bang out of it. So I think that'll be fun. So yeah, um, probably gonna do that with that. But yeah, let's get into the hair, shall we? All right. So it is 100% virgin human hair and it's in a texture of natural yakki. It says it's tangle free and shed free and the color is 1B so this is my hair color and it is 18 inches. So I also did some additional research and information to see if there was any more because I want to give you all 100% honest and thorough review. So basically I'm on the interwebs right now and you know basically it's saying it's tangle free, shed free, natural 100% human hair, fortified with argan oil. So same thing on the package. It comes in the lengths 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18 inches, and it's heat safe. And let me see, what is it? And it comes in the colors 1, 1B, 2, 4, and then FS1B slash 350, and then FS4 slash 30. So it does come in about six colors, um, at least on this website, which is ebonyline.com. This being the long length, the 18 inches, $42.95. So $42 per um per bundle which is not bad considering that you know there's like sixty dollar per bundle kind of deals or a hundred dollars per bundle so all in all you'll be probably spending like 120 130 for three of these um, if you get the 18 inch now if you get the smaller lengths they are anywhere between you know 895 to 42 dollars and 95 cents so it's very very affordable because we all know virgin hair ain't easy to come by and it ain't cheap so it comes packaged like this and when you open it up you have the name and whatnot which is a nice little touch um, and then it comes with some general care instructions, um, basically saying what you can do and whatnot. And I'm thinking I kind of want to try to like maybe color this hair and see if we can do something like a little bit colorful. So I'm going to just make sure real quick. Um, I mean, it doesn't say anything that you can't dye it. So I'm going to go ahead and dye it. <laughs> Um, basically it's saying it's 100% human hair and then also there's more general um, hair care instructions inside of the package as well as on this little tag right here and just kind of giving you a little bit of idea. So that's basically all the information and then I'm going to just go ahead and take the hair out of the package and then let's just go ahead and feel for texture as well as shedding, tangling, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just get a feel for the overall softness. And I'm also gonna check for shedding and whatnot. And so far, so good, y'all. I have run my fingers through this successfully. Oh, 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 just one, just one though. But I've run my fingers successfully through this about three or four times. So that was just the only one I've gotten out of doing that a couple times. So yeah, I am so far so good. I am impressed. Yep, definitely no shedding or minimal shedding really. Um, so and it's super soft the smell it doesn't smell bad it just kind of smells like you know the hair it just kind of has that you know store kind of smell I don't know like new smell <laughs> kind of thing so it doesn't have like a harsh odor of any kind 
but it's definitely very soft and you can run your fingers through it and you're gonna get maybe one hair I didn't get any hairs so this is about like the 10th time I've ran my fingers through it and I've only gotten one so oh, I definitely think it stays pretty true to the the no tangling or shedding part I will say though I do love the Janet collection so um, because they created the mommy wig so if you haven't seen that video that I made on the mommy wig it was many years it was like two years ago but I'll link it down below if you want to check it out but yes I am quite the fan of the Janet collection mommy wig so shout out to Janet collection so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of play with this and you know let's see if we can make this into a colorful little ponytail bang piece and whatnot so if you all want to see the outcome of this process definitely keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos love you all bye okay so to start off we're gonna create the bang I'm using this piece of scrap fabric uh, which is just like a little fleece fabric and then I fold it in half and cut off one of the corners um, so as to round the edge like so and then I'm gonna go ahead and place that on my head just to kind of measure out and see if it's too long which it was and then there you go I have my perfect length right here and then I just went ahead and you know glued the tracks down because I was too lazy to sew it so who has time not me um, so I decided to just like um, lay it everything out and then cut the tracks to length and then just simply glue across to attach each track. So very, very simple y'all. You're just gonna go ahead and glue one track at a time over top one another. And once you kind of reach the top where the rounded edge is, you're gonna start to round the tracks in the same direction as you see. And then at the very top, the very last track, you're going to actually flip upside down. So you'll see that in a second. So yeah, you're gonna flip the upside down, that way you can flip it over to hide the other tracks. And then I actually turned the track, the whole thing around and I glued another track at the very top as well as upside down, as you see here. And then I flipped that over and then I simply just took a straightener and then um, just straightened everything down so that nothing was, you know, lifting up or raising up or whatnot so everything was just nice smooth and even and y'all excuse the messy floor um i did vacuum shortly after this so i got my life together so um the next thing i did was just kind of cut it to the length just roughly because i was gonna cut it um once i had it on my head to a little bit more of a um specific length and then i didn't have my wig clips around so i just decided to take these little um hair clips and then just sew them into uh, the back so just right on that um, fleece fabric that I had and then I sewed it like this so that everything was secured and it ain't going nowhere. Alright so this is just kind of what my setup was when I was bleaching the hair but unfortunately this hair though it says 100% human um, and 100% virgin it does not take bleach whatsoever. It kind of lightened a little bit but this was that was after 30 minutes and there was really no change whatsoever so I was afraid of you know losing the hair and you know damaging it so I just washed everything out and just continued so after that idea I just decided you know what let me just go ahead and make this ponytail real quick so I'm just doing this like really really quick um, ponytail attachment so all I did simply was just to um, bobby pin it and then wrap it around my hair Y'all, I don't have that much hair to like make a really, really cute ponytail, so please excuse, but you know, I tried. So, <laughs> um, and then after I concealed my real hair, I just went ahead and um, put a curl wand through it, so it kind of gave me this like Rihanna esque um, hairstyle of ponytail, and I really love this way. Um, but then I just decided to add the bang, so this was like after I kind of cut it a little bit more, and then I just straightened it and kind of became Zoe De Chanel. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I kind of played around with it and whatnot. But um, I hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any more suggestions or ideas and I'll uh, hit you up soon. Bye.